Hello, and welcome to Jason's Garage. My name is Jason Parker, and I'm trying to finish up my associate's degree in automotive technology with Olympic College. I'd like to take a little time today to talk to you about something I know a thing or two about, and some may even say I'm an expert at it, being an automotive service repair technician. Now, before you say, hey, that doesn't sound hard, my cousin changes oil and spark plugs for the family all the time. Changing oil and spark plugs is a big part of what we do, but it's not everything we do. And I'd like to take a little time to talk to you about what the other aspects of being a good automotive repair technician is, not just the mechanical aspect of it. So automotive service technicians have to have an eye for detail. They have to be able to see past the repair at hand. Now all makes and models have their inherent problems, but cars are like people, so each one is different and all pose a unique set of problems. You have to be able to see what the customer doesn't see or doesn't notice. You have to help them plan for future repairs so it's not unexpected when something happens. Now unexpected stuff does happen all the time, but we do the best we can to keep that from happening. You have to be compassionate. You'll know what I mean by this if you've ever had to help a single parent whose car just lost their brakes on a Tuesday and they don't get paid till next Friday. You have to be a counselor. The dreaded check engine light. That's a time when counseling comes in well. Customers will call and say, hey, I can't drive my car. I'm scared to drive my car. The check engine light, come on. I think it's going to explode when I turn the key on. That happens a lot. So you have to sit and ask them, was the car running bad? Did you notice anything? No, no, the car wasn't running bad. The light's on. Well, if the light's on and the car's not running bad, it's probably not going to leave you stranded. Usually a check engine light means it's an emissions problem, the car doesn't like what's coming out of the tailpipe. So if it's going to leave you stranded, you're going to know the car's going to be running so bad you can't drive it. They make check engine lights orange for a reason. It's a cautionary color. Real problems come with a red light. Now being able to think like this and do this for people, be it's a general public, my friends, or my family, is why this job is important to me. You also have to be a teacher. With YouTube today, you have to be a teacher. You get customers that come in with a complaint on their car and they tell you, this is what's gonna fix my car because I saw it on YouTube or social media and this guy said this is exactly what's gonna fix it. You know, information like that can be priceless at times and sometimes it hits a nail on the head. But when it doesn't is when teaching comes in. You have to explain to them that, you know, maybe 30 years of experience and proper diagnostic will be a better way to approach your problem than this three minute video with you watched. Automotive service technicians have had to change with the times. We are now with newer cars, we feel like we're computer engineers versus the old greasy handed coverall wearing mechanic of the past. We still get dirty, we still have to change starter motors, you know, fuel filters, air filters, um, timing belts, cars still have fluids. Fluids have two jobs. They lubricate and cool your engine and they try to escape. Usually they try to escape and do a very good job at it. I like to be called a technician versus a mechanic because I'm more technical than I am mechanical. So I appreciate technician. In like 1993, the addition of OBD2 onboard diagnostic monitoring changed everything for us. Going away were the days of timing lights, dwell meters, feeler gauges. Now repairs come in the form of scan tools, multimeters, and laptops. Carburetors here, they lost their little battle to fuel injectors. A set of points and condenser didn't make it to the ignition module or the ECM, the engine control module. Now, if you've ever spent one of your weekends trying to adjust a set of these for a car to run right, you're not, it doesn't make you feel bad that these things took over, I'll tell you. So, um, a good automotive service technician gives their customers a peace of mind. The one or two days that you have their car makes them have 
months, if not years, of trouble free motoring gives them a peace of mind. You got to remember, people name their cars. They're part of the family. So to be able to do the best job you can possibly do and take care of that car like it was the most important thing in the world to you means that that family's going to get Ted back, not just the old Bu Buick with Sabre. This trade causes also stress, anxiety, and long sleepless nights for us mechanics. You've got to realize a good automotive service tech will take your car problems home with them. They'll think about them all the time. We're always thinking about our next move. Sometimes the repair is not as easy as an oxygen sensor or a spark plug. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do next for you. I've been an auto tech for 30 years. It's helped me buy a home, a car, raise my family. But in my quest to be the best at what I did, it took most of my youth, was a super expensive trade to be in, and it took most of my hair, as you can see. Now, one of the most important things about being a tech is experience. Experience doesn't come with anything but time, breaking things, screwing things up, and figuring out how you get yourself out of the hole you just dug yourself into. So being a good automotive service technician means you have to be a teacher, a listener, a counselor, a critical thinker, a problem solver, a friend, and sometimes even a life coach. So if you're able to find a technician that you trust, cherish that relationship. Next time you take your car into the shop, look in the console. Maybe instead of leaving that tech an old McDonald's cup, you leave them a thank you note. Now, on that note, I'd like to say, until next time, I hope we see you again. Goodbye.